In this video, we are going to learn about triangle proportionality. The idea is if you have a triangle and you add an extra segment inside the triangle such that it's parallel to one of the sides, like this, then that line segment has divided these two sides of the triangle proportionally. So that means if the four little segments were A, B, C, and D, then we know that A over B, that ratio, will have to be the same as the ratio of C over D. This is useful because if you didn't know one of those lengths but you knew the other three, you could use cross multiplication in order to solve for the missing length. Now it turns out that the converse, or sort of the opposite of this fact, is also true. So for example, if you had a triangle and there was a line added in the middle, but you didn't know necessarily whether it was parallel to the third side or not, it was just there, but you had some information about the segments, you could test if the ratios were the same on each side between the two little segments. And if they are, then the two lines must be parallel. So let's test that. We would want to test if 3 over 2 equals the same thing as 6 over 4. 3 over 2 is 1.5. 6 over 4 is also 1.5. So because both the ratios are the same, they're equivalent to each other, we know that these two lines must be parallel. So it works both ways. If you know that the lines are parallel, then you know these ratios have to exist. And if you know the ratios exist, then the lines must be parallel. Now, why is all of this true? It comes down to similar triangles. In a picture like this, there are two triangles that are similar that are actually nested. We have the smaller triangle and then this larger triangle here. And those two triangles are similar always by angle angle if the two lines are parallel. Or you could show they were similar by SAS if you don't know that the lines are parallel but you know that the ratios are the same. So because the, if the lines are parallel then you would know that these angles are congruent because they're corresponding and then this angle in the center, which is shared by both triangles, is obviously congruent because it's in both triangles. So because the triangles are similar, there will be ratios between sides. And even though the 4 and the 2 in this specific example aren't actually sides of any triangle, it will be the same thing, like they will still be in the same ratio, and that is a result of the fact that the triangles are similar.